What's up, everyone? Uh, so I was doing my uh, nightly egg pickup, and uh, I noticed this girl here looked very unkept, and uh, just something about her wasn't right. She had to kind of look like a penguin look. And so uh, I got to looking around after I picked up the eggs, and I noticed she had an egg stuck to her. Um, and it looked to be a rather large egg. Let's see if I can pick her up. I know she's she's tired right now. Let's see. Let's see the egg here. I'm gonna try and let her pass it on her own without any assistance. I think I've got her a little bit stirred up right now because I'm talking, but uh, she was just kind of sleeping in my hand. Um, and. Uh, yeah, this is the, I guess this is the hard part about having uh, pets, or I, I shouldn't call them pets, but uh, uh, animals, is that uh, you're going to have to be there for them whenever they are not doing well. But I'm hoping that she makes it. She looks very rough. Um, She's just been kind of laying in my hand, let me hold her above the water. But the water is uh, warm water. And hopefully that'll help her pass the egg on her own. Uh, I'm hoping not to lose her. And uh, if we can't get it passed, we'll be keeping her inside for a few days, keep her in the dark. And uh, maybe she'll, she'll get to feeling a little bit better. So, But this is our first experience with an egg-bound uh, quail hen. In the past with our... Uh, chickens back in Arkansas, we did have, I think, one or two that had the problem, uh, and they made it, but uh, I don't know, it's my first time with a quail, so hopefully all will be good, but we'll certainly let you know, and uh, we're hoping that she makes it through. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. Be good to each other. We'll see you next time. Bye.